Welcome everyone, in this video we are going to extend our Spring Authorization Server with PKCE. Proof Key for Code Exchange is an extension to the authorization code flow to prevent CSRF and authorization code injection attacks. First we are going to look at the difference between PKCE or no PKCE. With an URL without PKCE, you have the following parts. The URL. Response type. Client ID. Scope. State. Redirect URL. And nonce. For an URL with PKCE you have an additional security. The URL Response type Client ID Scope State Redirect URL Nonce Code challenge And code challenge method The first thing we need to do to make sure PKCE is used is to modify the database. In the OAuth2 registered client table, we need to set the settings client require proof key to true. Next is to configure a bean of type server OAuth2 authorization request resolver. Here we need to turn on PKCE. The last step is to modify the OAuth2 login with a server OAuth2 authorization request resolver. It's this time it was a short but pretty important video. Thank you for following our channel and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.